three, two, one, and liftoff of Discover, hoisting harmony to the heavens. Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at Sierra Space's Life Habitat and Space Station. Many different companies and agencies are hard at work developing next-generation launch vehicles meant to bring humans into space, and farther than ever before. Sierra Space is one of those companies however they are not only working on rocket components. Sierra Space has been developing and working on habitats meant for future stays in space. Sierra Space is trying to innovate how humans live and work in space with the Life Habitat module and Sierra Space Station. They are doing this with inflatable modules, unique materials, large habitats, and more. All are working together to create a unique and convenient environment in space for humans. Also meant to increase our access and open up space for everyone. The process of launching cargo into space is extremely expensive and complicated. Each additional kilogram of weight can add thousands of dollars to the launch cost. Not to mention a lot of launch vehicles are limited by the size of their fairings. Sierra Space has recognized these different issues and is working hard to create something new and innovative that will change how we live and work in space. Sierra Space Station Sierra Space is a company that does it all in relation to the space industry. Some of their work and future projects include Orbital Reef, Dream Chaser, Rocket Engines, Environmental Systems, and more. Another big project they are working on is Sierra Space Station. The Sierra Space Station is meant to provide access to space to practically anyone. The company mentions that the station could be used for tourism, movie production, agricultural production, medical research, and in-space manufacturing. People from around the world could rent out a spacer module within the station. From there they can do whatever they want. This would significantly increase our access to space and lead to a lot of different innovations. The use of 3D printing or medical research is very valuable, and space provides a one-of-a-kind environment to try new things. This space station would be possible using many different systems Sierra Space is working on. Specifically, this includes the Dream Chaser space plane for transportation, and the Life Habitat modules for living. The station would be a configuration of multiple expandable life habitats that can be serviced by both cargo and crew carrying Dream Chaser space planes. From here the company could continue to expand the station making more space available for different people or companies that want access. Life Habitat Features Inflatable Modules One of the first unique features of the Life Habitat modules is its inflatable aspect. Life stands for Large Integrated Flexible Environment. As I mentioned prior, launching cargo into space is not only expensive, but companies are often limited by the size of fairings on top of different launch vehicles. This especially is the case when building a large structure such as a space station. Looking at the International Space Station, for example, it was built over a long period of time by bringing up each individual section. The space shuttle was responsible for launching multiple modules, and they were built as big as possible. While today we have access to larger rockets and therefore fairings, they still do not offer the size that Sierra Space is interested in. For this reason, Sierra Space has developed habitats that inflate once in orbit. On the surface and within the fairings of a rocket, they are deflated and don't take up very much room. Once in orbit, they inflate and expand to a three-story habitat fit for humans. This means Sierra Space can build a significantly larger space station in less time, launches, and save money through the entire process. This offers flexible launch options with many different commercial companies around the world. Material and build. The next aspect of the life habitat has to do with the inside features, along with the material use. It's obvious that the material must be strong, considering it will be orbiting the Earth and housing humans inside. Not to mention the material must survive the constant attack from small pieces of debris orbiting the Earth as well. The life habitat is made up of multiple different layers, each serving a specific purpose. The outside layer, known as the restraint layer, is a vector and fabric weave that is strong enough to withstand the internal pressure needed for the crew to stay and work comfortably in space. This material is so sturdy, it actually is stronger than steel. Then there is the inner layer which is called the bladder. This is made of urethane and is designed to keep the air inside the habitat without leaking. Finally, there is the middle layer, or liner, which is made of nylon. It presents a smooth surface to protect the bladder from damage. Each layer works together to protect the humans inside by providing a safe and controlled environment in space. These layers also work together to protect humans inside from the constant radiation in space. Large Habitats The final feature of the life habitat that I want to mention has to do with its size, purpose, and possibilities. The habitat has significant volume as mentioned prior, and has power plus data support for long-term missions. It has applications in not only low Earth orbit, but also Mars transport plus lunar and Mars surface habitation. This suggests that in the future Sierra Space could use the life habitat for human missions to the moon or even Mars. Taking a look at the size, the habitat is very big. It has a 27-foot diameter providing around 300 cubic meters of pressurized volume. 
This one habitat provides almost one-third of the pressurized volume on the entire International Space Station. There are three floors within the habitat. These floors include lab space, a garden, sleeping quarters, and a kitchen. A single module can comfortably house 4 to 12 crew depending on the mission and application. Sierra Space mentions that for missions to LEO, the habitat can fit 6 crew comfortably. However, it can accommodate 12 crew for shorter periods of time, such as those during which crew members transition. It features closed-loop life support which enables long-term missions. These life support systems regulate the air within and maintain proper pressure, temperature, humidity, and oxygen levels. These life support systems also recycle some of the air and water that is used which in return reduces the amount that has to be delivered to the habitat. This helps the airspace limit launches and save money over the long run when operating different habitats. Sierra Space has also done a lot of work on agriculture in space, and includes an astro garden to grow fresh produce and plants. Conclusion Many companies and agencies are working on launch vehicles to get into space. Sierra Space is one of these however the company is also putting a lot of work into creating habitats for humans in space. Specifically, Sierra Space is designing life habitats, with the goal of making space accessible to anyone. They are doing this with inflatable modules, unique materials, and large habitats. All are working together to create a convenient and cost-effective way to stay and work in space. We are often limited by the power of launch vehicles, and also the size provided within the fairings. Sierra Space is working around these different problems to create habitats and a commercial space station of the future. We will have to wait and see how they progress and the impact it has on the future of the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.